Hi everyone, today I want to show you a new game that I will start to play on this channel. It's called Dragon Raja. I found this game by scrolling on Instagram one day and I just saw an advertisement and I was surprised by how beautiful the characters looked in the game. So that made me really interested to try out this game. So when I started playing this game, I was also amazed at how well the storyline is made here and how good the actual game looks. The graphics are amazing, the animation is amazing. There's even a voiceover, which you're hearing right now. It feels like I'm honestly watching an anime or a movie while I'm playing this game. It's a very interesting game and I enjoy passing my time on it when, of course, I finish doing everything I have to do. I try not to make this into my obsession like I did with my previous gaming years where I just spent the entire day playing the game. But anyways, this game is super interesting and I'm really excited to be making a gameplay about this game because I want you guys to see to learn about this game and maybe you try it out yourself if you like it. This game is on my phone and I am recording this gameplay from However, my phone. Have the for a short while. I have an Android, I have asked so you to take with him I don't know if it will be working on an iPhone, but you can that definitely give it a try. It but what I like about this game is that the Japanese high the character creation allows you to create such a unique character. There are sliders for each body part. You can increase the size of the eyes, the size of the nose. You can change the location of the lips, the ear, anything. You can change the height, the body weight. And it sort of reminds me of how Sims was. I also really like the hairstyles and the outfits in this game. And the fact that you can... There's such a big choice of what color you can make the hair, the eyes. There's so many different styles for the eyes. It brings back old memories to me when I used to play Fantage. <laughs> How I really liked to customize my character's appearance and... Yeah, I was really addicted to that game. <laughs> but it's close now, right? And we need to move on. We need to find new games to play. And I honestly think that this game will be my, like, kind of a replacement for what I used to really enjoy to do. There's three classes, well, not three classes, three races that you can be in this game. You can be a human or you can be a lolita. Well, talking about races, I'm talking about there's a male gender, there's a female gender, and you can also be a lolita. Female or male. I don't know if you can be a male lolita. Actually, I didn't actually check that. But I'll take a look at it in my next video when I'll create a new character and I'll start this game from scratch. I just wanted to show you how this game looks like in the middle of the game and how characters talk and how the voiceover looks like. Like here I'm already on level 27, I'm already like a few hours into the game. This game is really easy to play, really visually pleasing and honestly, like even, even though it is on the phone, it is so... it does not make a difference how big the screen size is. It is definitely more comfy to play on your phone, you can just lay on your bed and play. You can't... like, you can still do that with your laptop, but not as comfortable as it is holding your phone. Regarding the quests, it's really easy to do them and you don't have to put any effort into doing them, really. All you have to do is just click on the quest and it will take you wherever you need to go. Regarding the fighting style, the same thing, you just need to click on whatever skill you want to use and your character will use that skill. This is not too difficult, like, you definitely, I think you can change up the difficulty in the game, but I prefer to keep it very easy at first, when I don't really know how to play yet, so I don't get discouraged and just abandon the game, but otherwise, I think this game is very, very interactive, and it is a free world game, you can definitely explore here, and uh, I really like the style of the characters, how they're 
how they look like the outfits they wear and just the storyline in general like the beginning of this game was so emotional it got me so interested in it made me want to know what happens next like that's how games should be like and I honestly think this game was so well made I don't know who exactly was made by, like where it was made, like which country, but I'm assuming that here in the beginning of the video it was talking about Chinese as their main language, so I'm guessing it was made in China, but then I also have doubts because in the beginning of the game when I was playing it, I saw them something in Russian, so maybe it's made by Russians, but I do not know really. It From what I think, I think it's honestly probably made by Chinese, the Chinese country, the China, China. <laughs> okay, well anyway, I'm really excited to start playing this game and I hope you do enjoy watching these gameplays that I'm gonna be starting to make. I know I haven't made videos in a long time, like I'm not regular with my video, with my content creation, but now because of this COVID-19 pandemic and everyone's just forced to stay at home, and not really forced, but it's preferable to stay at home to stay more safe, the social distancing and isolation, I have plenty more time to make videos, which I will be doing, and I hope you guys enjoy these new gameplays that I do. And if you do decide to try this game yourself, please do let me know what you think of it in the comments. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to go on this journey of this game with you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video very soon.